Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, if you have Dodge Jeep or Chrysler product guys, the video will be very helpful to you. What we will be doing guys, we will show you how to actually clean your camshaft, okay, camshaft faces. Okay, let me show you now. If you have a 4 or 6 cylinder engine, okay, and you have especially the Pentastar engine right here. We're going to explain how to clean okay, the camshaft facers. This is a camshaft facer, this one as well. This is bank 2 exhaust side. Okay, this is bank 2 intake, bank 1 intake, bank 1 exhaust. So you have four of them guys. And the cool thing, we'll show you guys how to do it without removing and disassembling those. The procedure is not very complicated at all. Now, we'll show you what we use guys in the meantime, every vehicle that we get at the shop will have at least 200 videos made on it. And you can see, we have quite a few already waiting to get in. So, please guys subscribe, our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can by teaching you how to fix your car for free. So we have that 2000, okay, 2012 Dodge Journey, we're going to turn the ignition on, engine not running. And we'll be using guys Maxi C's. Okay, this computer is amazing with a programming device. Okay, right here. So we're going to connect that programming device to the OBD port down there. After that, guys, what you need to do? You need to click VIN detection. But let me show you before that. You have dealer level equipment for so many makes and models. If you want to check out the two, it will be listed in the description of the video below. Nothing sponsored here guys, it's a tool that we love and we've been using for quite a while now. So we click auto detect now. Okay, and it's going to decode the VIN number, tells us which vehicle we have and from that point on guys, okay, it will be, it will be pretty simple. All we have to do now, you have to monitor your battery voltage to make sure it's not too low when you do diagnostics, it shouldn't be less than 12 point. To our guess, we do control unit. Okay, now we do powertrain, engine computer module, and then we will go under special functions, guys. Right here, special functions. And now let's see. Okay, we want to clean. Okay, we want to clean exhaust phaser one. Okay, see, so we have exhaust phaser one. Okay, let me go back for a second. Exhaust phaser two. Intake phaser 1, intake phaser 2. So I usually, if we have a code that relates to any of those, I run all of them. So it says function should be used to help clean dirt debris from the oil control valve. We click OK. Engine must be running. So let's start the car now. So it's opening and closing the phaser now. You can definitely feel it. The car will bog down okay rpms go up and down up and down and it will stabilize itself this is because it's uh, changing the timing it says exhaust phaser one completed i'll do let's do one of the okay uh, uh, second one now i'm going to run all of them that's recommended now check out how the rpms will start going down when it starts opening and closing. Okay, on this one it's not so noticeable. So probably the problem was only with exhaust phaser one. So this one, it didn't do bad at all. But the first one you can see that we definitely felt some vibrations. Okay, intake phaser one. And it's doing the cleaning again. Pretty stable, smooth running engine right now. So if you guys have a code to any of the facers, okay, do that. It should be complete and I'll do number four now. What I'll do after that, I'll go to facer one exhaust side. Stay with us towards the end. And see how it's going to sound towards the end. Okay, still smooth running engine here. It will be complete very, very soon. So, we'll clean. Okay, now let's go to phaser one, exhaust side cleaning. And let's perform this one one more time. 
and you can see second time okay it didn't change the rpms at all so i think it took care of our problem guys that's amazing okay without even taking them off that's super good so if we have uh, the code pop up again we'll have another video coming soon guys so thank you for watching please subscribe and see you guys next time